So we don't even have to take time to, to, to walk into that because they laid a great foundation in that regard and made our jobs a whole lot easier. What we want, we want, to, just, what we want to just basically do is to lay the foundation and let you know, and it's already been again laid, is that unity, oneness, is the will of God. Amen. Right? That bottom line, it, that's Amen. the will of God. Amen. For us to be one, everybody say to be one. Be one. one. To not be divided. Not to be divided. Unified. And that's in that. Amen. So we recognize that's the will of God. So let's get down here to some of these practical principles for becoming one in marriage. Because some of us are in families. You, you have blended families. Some of y'all have blended families. In other words, you, you came into marriage with children already. You know, so you had to blend, you know, your, you know, your kids from either a previous relationship or a previous marriage, then you came together, you know, in that particular relationship. That's because that's how we work. Okay, we were what's called a blended family. They say, you know, again, in society. And some of us, again, this may be our second marriage or whatever the case is. Or some of us may have experienced divorce, you know, or death or whatever the case is. And then some of us may be in situations where one of our, our husband or our wife may not be a believer, you know, or may not have been one when you first got married or into the marriage, whatever the case is. So it doesn't matter where you are, you're here now. Amen. 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 And again, it doesn't matter how long, but you recognize I have to now apply the principles from God's word so I can be successful in that. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we got C. I like to get principles because we've learned that principles expel principalities. Oh, I like to give keys because keys open doors. Oh. You know, they unlock and they lock. So we, we like to give principles because I believe if you put principles from God's word into practice, then you'll see the promises of God fulfilled in your life. Mm -hmm. So when you look at these things, we have them on our sheet. Y'all got to write it down. But we're going to give you all some practical principles for becoming one in marriage, again, or keeping that oneness. Good. You know, keeping that oneness. And, and we're going to deal with some areas. We're going to deal with family, because I was going to have time to get some questions and answers. Families, the finances, and then friends. Oh. Glory to God. Because, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we was unsaved, or we got you know, married, like the bastard said, okay, we came to the office, we was individuals. Uh -huh. So we came with our own finances, our own money. Then we got married, it became one, supposedly. <laughs> you know, then in marriage, okay, we had our own, you know, family. <laughs> My wife has a family, I have a family, it's eight of us, nine of them, you know. So when you got married, our families blended. Mm -hmm. uh, both of our families were, we both from the projects, Good. Both very, very dysfunctional. Very dysfunctional. Very dysfunctional mm -hmm. family. We came from very, very dysfunctional. <laughs> <laughs> so we knew right off, we didn't get any advice from you all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we might <laughs> yeah, I guess, right. But we learned that you know, not only were, did we become dysfunctional families, I was dysfunctional within that dysfunction. <laughs> I was another dysfunctional piece in that dysfunction. So you, got, you know, so me, you know me, I gotta cleave, I gotta, I gotta cleave hard to the word of God. I got a man because I knew then that's the thing my mind has to change yeah. and shift because I have 18, 19 years of insanity mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. that has to be worked out of my mind. Right. Now I can just apply the word. So, you know, that's why we say we go hard after it. And then our friends. Everybody know we, we come to a relationship with friends. Uh -huh. You know, now how do you blend them? Or become one with your friends. Come on, go get into some practical areas. Amen. We don't, you know, rub your hair the wrong way, but you just come back down. And that's <laughs> what you want so again, don't get offended. You know, if you get offended, get over it. You know, because like Captain Bass said, marriage is grown up. It is. And but it, it'll help you if you will apply it to your life. Amen. 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 Okay. Oh, I mean, okay, good. Oh, yeah. And so that's why, since we realized that our families were dysfunctional and we didn't know a lot, we didn't know. We just didn't know about marriage. We didn't know about finances. And so that's why we, when we were a part, when we were part of Evangel, that's why we was grabbing everything. Right, right. We said, no, we, we're going to that class. We're going to that class. We're going to morning service. We're going to, we're going because we had sense enough to know. We don't know. Right. And so we took full advantage of what was offered. Amen. Okay. Amen. So, the first C that you see now is number one. Now, in these areas, and we'll touch on them, family, finances, and friends. 
How do we, again, become one in these areas? What does it look like? You know, again, what is it going to feel like? What does it feel like for some of y'all in right now? The first C that you have to understand in that is consciousness. There must be a consciousness of oneness. 